Okay, everybody. It's episode two of Radio Reacts to Life, and I have a brand new taboo topic to discuss today. And uh, why don't we just react to the clip first, and then I'll talk about it after. Just to, just to bring it back, can we take back racist and say discriminatory? Because I think that's a better word. <laughs> yes, it is a much better That's word. a better word, and I am very discriminatory against words like the ones that they were saying in those names. I'm not about to hire you if your name is Watermelon Andrea. This is not going to happen. I'm not going to hire you. Really? That's not your position. That's not their fault. I would be such a beautiful King Kong Quisha, by the way. Okay. For those... For those who don't understand the issue or the life issue that they're discussing here, Raven Simone, who is black, albeit mixed, kind of like myself, there are a lot of mixed black people in this country, you know, especially us caramel, com those with a caramel complexion and lighter, there's a good chance you just may be a mixed black person. Anyway, her stance is that she wouldn't hire somebody with the name like Watermelon Nisha, or I don't know, basically too ethnic or too ghetto or too ratchet of a name if she were to hire somebody. And I think that's so fucking egregious. It seems like it's just a black issue at first, but it's actually not. Many minorities can also relate to this kind of thing. For example, if you're Latino and you're in a position to hire and you happen to feel that someone's name is too, too Mexican or too Latino or whatever, do you know what I mean? Or if you're Asian and you discriminate based on the last name before someone shows up to interview. That's crazy because I know people with a name on paper that sounds very white and if they came in the room you'd be like wow look at how ghetto they act and i know people who have names similar to ones that they have uh what is it water watermelonisha or whatever she says and would blow your mind with how intelligent they are and how much skills they have and what their education level is so this is kind of alarming because i already had you know kind of a hypothesis that people hire that way but um this does confirm it that you could even be black and discriminate against your own people based on what their name is. It doesn't say anything about what their life experience is, what their skills are, what their education level is, and whether or not they're qualified for the job. That's fucking crazy. I, I, I personally, I couldn't do that to a person because I, I, I think it's wrong. I think it's... uh you prejudge people and you basically making it sound like if your name sounds whiter then you're better or more qualified i'll give you an example of the opposite effect of this so i go by radio but my name is actually edward charles harris i have three slave names in a row so when i apply for things especially when i call on the phone because i speak clear english everyone thinks that a middle-aged white man's walking in to have an interview when I have ever am called for one right the looks of disappointment when I show up I can I can see it on everyone's face and it's been that way for years because they're expecting some privileged white guy or something or an experienced white guy to walk in and instead you get me who is probably especially confusing because I have this name and I speak like this but I look like this like huh, it's it's definitely unfair and uh, something that you, you shouldn't have to change your name to be employed. You shouldn't have to be ashamed of your ethnicity in order to be hired for something. And she just perpetuates it and she finds it funny. I don't know. I, I don't hate Raven Simone, but I do think that she can be, I think, delusional at times as to how things really are out there. And she definitely puts emphasis on being an ethnic person that hides how ethnic they are in order to survive. Like she feels people should be doing that. And I'm sure the media is gonna rip her apart for this. And um, she can take it. She said other controversial statements, but everybody, don't prejudge somebody. You have nothing better to do if you're in human resources than to interview people. Give everybody a chance. You really don't know. You can hire someone that at the surface comes like they're perfect and they could be extremely untrustworthy in you know hazardous to your workplace environment and I would strongly advise that uh, you especially give those bold names a chance because you don't know what you're gonna get you don't know who you're gonna know especially if you're in the industry and you're gonna interview people and it's just 
incredibly judgmental, and it's not professional, if you ask me. Why don't you tell me what you feel about uh, her statements and my reaction or my analysis or my two cents about this in the comment section below. And uh, fill me in on anything if I missed anything about this. You know, if I didn't... Uh, Attack it from a certain angle film me in or let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below Also, please like and share this clip and follow us on Instagram and Twitter Thank you for watching